So now that I gave you an overview of the Java sequential search stream gang splitterator and how it was used at a high level and what its fields meant, let's go ahead and take a look at the implementation of its two key methods for the purposes of sequential stream. Here is the constructor for the phrase match splitterator. As you can see here, it takes the character sequence input and the phrase that we're looking for. And the first thing it does is it goes ahead and it creates a regular expression that will match phrases. And I won't go through all the gory details of what this regular expression is doing, but basically it's getting rid of unnecessarily white space at the beginning and the end of the phrase. It's replacing groups of spaces with a single space. It's quoting certain things and so on so that phrases will match correctly. It's actually a pretty complicated regular expression. You should take a look at the code to see it in its full-blown glory. The code is also nicely commented too to explain what it's doing. We then take that regular expression phrase string and we compile it using the pattern matching mechanisms in, in Java. And we compile it in a way where it'll be a case insensitive search so it doesn't care if the letters are capitalized or not. And it also passes in the dot all parameter, which means look for phrases that split across line, across new line. We then go ahead and make a matcher that associates that regular expression pattern we just compiled with the input string that we're going to be searching. Then we go ahead and we stash the parameters that are passed in input and phrase into local variables or local fields that are used by the try advance and try split methods we're going to look at. And then finally, we figure out what the min split size should be. And basically, we just take the length of the input and divide it by two. And that just means we won't recurse too much when we're doing the splitting portion, partitioning portion with parallel streams, which we'll talk about later. Here's the try advanced method. This is the one that really does the heavy lifting here. So this is called by the Java streams framework to attempt to advance the splitterator by one word match or one phrase match. It's going to be passed an action, which is a consumer, and this consumer will be used to give information back to the streams framework if in fact there is a match. So it'll tell it where the match occurred. So this is just a good old Java consumer. Here's the find method that's defined on phrase matcher. Phrase matcher, as you recall, was this regular expression matcher, which will go ahead and see if it can find that phrase in the input string up to that point. If it cannot find it, it returns false. So if we negate that, that indicates it didn't get a match. And in that case, we've either got all the matches we're going to find or we got no matches in the string whatsoever. So we're going to bail out and we bail out by returning false. And that indicates to the streams framework called that um, to stop trying to call try advance because there's nothing more to be found. Assuming that we did get a match, then what we do is we accept the match by creating a new result object, which keeps track of where the match occurred using the phrase match pattern matcher and the start method, which returns the index where the match occurred. We add the M offset, which is used for parallel streams to keep track of where this appeared in the original input. We make a new result object, which we define, and we accept that into the action. And that's gonna allow us to pass that information back to the streams framework, which it will use to make that one of the elements that's put into the stream that it's constructed. And and because we did in fact find a match, we return true. And that basically informs the stream framework to continue calling try advance because we got a match. So there may be some more matches. So don't stop yet. So remember try advance is kind of a combination of has next and next in Java iterator that puts both those capabilities together in a single method, which in this case is called try advance instead of having has next and next. Try split is what's used to partition the data up into chunks. We're not going to talk about that now because we don't need to discuss that. We'll talk about try split when we talk about the search with parallel splitterator variant of the search stream gang case study. It's not used for the sequential version at all. So it's just a no op for that. But when we start doing parallel splitterators, then try splits used to break the input up into chunks. So that's the end of our overview of splitterators as used in the sequential version of the search stream gang case study. And as I said before, we'll look at some other interesting variants of this when we get to the parallel streams version later.